To start this off, I'd like to start with a quote by John C. Maxwell, which says that whatever you will accomplish will be limited by your ability to lead others. And since joining the company of Choice Hotels International in 2008, Mr. Jones has led the company through a series of unprecedented growth and development. However, before he took on the role as CEO and President of Choice Hotels International, he started off as a student in business school. And then, as he kept on going in his career, which is now going over 30 years strong, he found a position in Marriott. And within Marriott, he became the Vice President of Global Development and an owner in franchise. In franchise. Uh, two both very impressive titles. He really took it on himself to uh, find and develop Marriott internationally through both mixed properties and real estate properties for Marriott, really encouraging and franchising. And now he's taken the direction of Choice Hotel. And since 2008, their stock performance has increased by 120%. They have grown their brand loyalty from 5 million members in 2006 all the way up to 18 million members since. In order to better develop themselves. So, it is a great honor that I have the privilege of introducing our guest speaker tonight, CEO and President of Choice Hotels International, Mr. Steve Joyce. I wanted to show a video so you all have a little bit better understanding of who Choice is. So, but it allowed for opportunity, you know, any downturn and any, in any situation where things don't look good, there's opportunity, you just gotta find it. Okay. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the lodging industry. Um, we all know there's been a lot of consolidation, most certainly recently. Um, from your perspective, what are the benefits of consolidation and what might be some of the challenges? Well, there's, a, there's always been the need for scale. And only those people with scale and ability to compete um, in that marketplace are going to win in the long term. So the distribution environment in the hotel business is the one that's brought with the most peril and is also laden with the most opportunity. You know, a lot of these kids are already in trouble. They've either up there, they're either gangbanging or they're already in jail once. And they come in with dreads and then they express their admiration for Steve and they say, I want to work with Steve. And Steve looks at them and goes, I would never hire you. I would never hire anybody who looks the way you look. And they start with, this is my independence, this is how I express my personality. He goes, express it someplace else, don't express it in front of me because I don't want to see it. He has a barber there full time because half those kids go in and get their haircut. So, now, he's worked with kids that have a lot more strikes against them already than a lot of you. But but the reality is the same. You gotta pay the price if you want to play the part. Have you thought about giving back to the veterans? We have, we have and we do do several things. Through our <coughs> veterans employee resource group, we sponsor lots of activities. Um, we have uh, special programs for veterans in our hotels. <coughs> We do a lot for disabled veterans, special rates, special rates for families. It's a priority for us in Ireland, uh, and it's a priority for us in terms of providing care and service for them as customers, and also helping when there is need. Not sure I always balanced it correctly. Um, so I have two daughters. I, I, am, I am not married, but I have two great daughters. While I traveled most of the week, I didn't do anything else on the weekends. Either. 